Hello, welcome to the Simutrain FEA Tips and Tricks series brought to you by Simutech Group. When replacing a part with a point mass, moments of inertia can be included in the definition, but these quantities may not be previously known. This video will demonstrate how to use ANSYS to extract the moments of inertia of a part for use in point mass definitions. We will be using this simplified model of a motor, shaft, and gear assembly to walk through an example. If this assembly were part of a large model and we were interested only in stresses located in the shaft, it would be advantageous to reduce the global mesh count by replacing the motor and gears with point masses, as we have done here. If we select these point masses and look in the details window, there are fields available to enter the coordinates of the center of mass, the total mass, and the mass moments of inertia. The center of mass fields default to the geometric center of the point mass scoping, but the part's true center of mass and total mass can be quickly found by selecting the part, finding the values in the selection information window, and individually copying them into the point mass definition. The mass moments of inertia, however, are not listed here. In order to use ANSYS to extract the moments of inertia for the part, we will need to create a standalone static analysis for the individual part and run it without any loading. We can start this process quickly by going to the project page, duplicating the current system, and then opening the new static structural analysis. Let's begin by suppressing every part except the gear we are interested in. Then we will insert a fixed support into the analysis branch of the tree and scope it to all of the gear faces. We want to run this model as it is without any loading, but ANSYS Mechanical will not let us initiate a solve with nothing but support objects in the tree. To get around this, we can insert a blank command object into the analysis branch. Now, Mechanical allows us to solve the model. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Once the solve is complete, navigate to the solver output by clicking on Solution Information. We are looking for the section of this file titled Precise Mass Summary, and we can find it quickly by pressing Ctrl F and searching for the word precise. Just below this, we are looking for the table titled Total Inertia About Center of Mass, the diagonal entries of which contain the X, Y, and Z moments of inertia we are looking for. Here, we have solved in SI units, so the values can be copied and pasted directly over into the point mass definition in our full analysis. It is important to note, however, that when solving in English units, the mass quantities here will be in slugs or slinches, and will thus need to be converted to pounds before use in the point mass definition. While the moments of inertia are not as readily available as a part's mass or center of mass, the ANSYS mechanical output files provide a wealth of data that can be leveraged to increase the accuracy of an analysis. Thank you for watching this Simutrain FEA tips and tricks video brought to you by Simutech Group.